when I first started recording, I just was like, oh my God, I want to do a song with Sting. I, I don't know why. I mean, I do know why, but I'm just a huge fan and just, I don't know. I just feel like there's somewhere we can go together musically. Um, I mean, of course, Timberland. That's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I know I've seen this man take artists to the next level with just one song. Um, you know, I definitely want to work with Sean Paul. I am a Sean Paul fanatic. Um, between him and Kevin Little, like, I mean, I'm a traveler. You know, I'm in Jamaica like twice a year. Um, and just the whole reggae vibe and the whole cultural, you know, just, I mean, everything about reggae and, and, uh, and, and the vibe is just something that I definitely want to implement. Maybe not in every song, but just have something in my back pocket. Um, I mean, I, you know, there's a lot. Of, I want to. I really want to work with Beyonce, um, because I've never met her, and I don't really know. Like, you know, people say things about writing and producing, but I've heard that she is like, she creates. You know, she writes and she creates a lot of her own shit. So, somebody like that, because I consider myself to be very, very creative and talented with this music, and I want to work with people that know how to. You know what I mean? I think that me and her can come together and just really do some like off the wall shit and it'll be sexy and you know, make you want to bob your head at the same time. Sure. What do you want to tell to the what do you want to say to the millions of fans, young men, the young women that all log on on the internet to see you and what you're doing and maybe step in some of the shoes that you in someday and possibly be in a movie, be in a video and stuff like that. What's what you got to tell them? Um, you know, there's, everybody's an individual. And um, I get asked that question a lot. Um, you just kind of like, in this game, which is a game beyond any game of life to me, music industry Hollywood I mean it's like either you can go make a porno and be famous or you could just really be talented and be famous and um, I think that you just really have to you gotta have the, the tough skin you gotta have the heart but you gotta have a vision you really have to know what what you want and um, and you really have to know what you have working for you like you just you can't go against the grain with this business don't try to be funny if you're not you know what I mean don't go try to do comedy if you're just whack or you're corny like don't try to be a model if you're fat you know what I mean unless you plan on losing the weight like I did I had to bust my ass I was a size 12 when I first got here I'm a four now so you know what I mean that's something people don't know about me either I was 180 pounds when I got here what do you do to stay in great shape I mean, you know, between champagne and weed, no, <laughs> which well, is my the studio is crazy. diet. Uh, no, I mean, you know, being that I'm I'm real busy right now and I don't really have time to work out, like, I just have to switch it up a little. Like, you can you can like lose weight and be lean with eating habits, believe it or not. Um, so you know, you just gotta like tweak your eating habits a little bit drink a lot of water I don't recommend going in the studio if you're trying to lose weight because in the studio is like Vegas you don't see a clock and you don't see the sun so you don't know what time it is and you eat whenever you get hungry you drink whenever you want I mean it's just you know what I mean that the studio is not a good place maybe that's just my work diet here um, but yeah, you know, you just gotta stay, you gotta be dedicated. You gotta be dedicated. I had to work hard. So I probably owe Bally some money now that I think about it. Everybody owe Bally some money. Yo, I <laughs> hate Bally. <laughs> Bally. I got a call about some gym called Holiday Health Spa or something like that. And I was like, what? That was, you know, I didn't. You should be doing ads for some of those. They should be just, you know, having you send you over some passes to come and. I should be doing ads for a lot of people. I, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm like. But whatever. 
how can how can everybody catch up with you? I know you have a MySpace, and I actually had a chance to look at your official Katie Albert site. Yeah, the Katie um, Albert site right now ain't really bananas like the MySpace. My MySpace mm -hmm. page is, is a lot. Uh, that site is is hotter, and I'm setting up a MySpace music page too right now. So I'm gonna start, you know, leaking some of this stuff out. But um, well, not this stuff, but some you know, some other stuff. Um, but um, yeah. Well, let's get the address. Where, where the can they catch up with you? It ain't okay. hot. No, I'm just kidding. No, I just I don't really want to. I I don't really want to send nobody to kdallbear.com. No, send them to your MySpace. Yeah, go to me. Check me out at MySpace. I know there's a couple people who are doing MySpaces under my name, and it's not really me. But my MySpace page is um, kdallbear. No, myspace.com backslash kdallbear. K D A U B E R T. And don't worry about how you say my last name because nobody can say it right anyway. But it's Aubert. If you go to France, they call me Aubert. And here in America, they call me Aubert, Ubert, uh, Ob I don't even, Obion. I don't know. <laughs> Shit's crazy. But, uh,. Well, can we get a, uh, a shout out for DBTV? You can come oh, on come set. on now. You know DBTV's in the building. In the building. Because it's in France. It's everywhere. No, um, yeah. What was your trip to France? I heard you mention France was off the chain. Was I, um, that your first time? Where you went? That Where was in my France? first time. In Paris? I went to, um, I went, I flew from LA to London, London to Nice. Um, I was in Saint Tropez. I was in Monte Carlo. Uh, I was in uh, Cannes. Uh, I think we call it Cannes here. That's what Jay Z be talking about. Central. Oh, Pay you Pay. have to go, dude. They, I mean, it is really retarded, especially like you know everyone's on yachts. Yeah. I was on the Thunder Gulch. Shout out to the Thunder Gulch because you guys took mad care of me. Um, when I tell you these people waited on me, they made me. Feel, I mean, it was like. They even packed my luggage for me. I thought that was special. Unpacked it, packed it, shoes was laid out. I mean, it was like a champagne glass just followed me around everywhere I went. Don Perry on 1990, it was crazy. But, um. How's the butt over there? I'm just, you know, the chronic, <laughs> They don't do chronic in, 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 uh, in Central Pay. They just man. No, they do a lot of other things. <laughs> right. We all don't right. do shit to all you right. All right. over there the way they party, but. You know, if you go to St. Tropez, you got to hit up Nikki Beach. Shout out to James. What's up, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? That's that's who all the celebrities link up with when they go over there. You know, Diddy was there. Uh, Paris Hilton. We pulled up next to her boat for a little while. Um, I mean, it was star-studded. The boat that I was on was the boat Pamela Anderson was on uh, when she did her marriage thing or whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it was we was clowning. We was we was clowning. I went shopping. The shopping is retarded. They got all the stores like right there by the by the docks. You know, I hit the uh, Dolce and Gabbana store in Saint Tropez, Roberta Cavalli, and and then you know too when you spend money over there, you can do a tax refund. You always have to ask for a tax refund and you do your paperwork so that when you get to the airport, you get your money back. How about that? How about every time you went shopping, you fill out some paperwork and then you go and you can get money back? That, that shit is crazy. Them shoes was only like twelve hundred after. Uh, I mean, they, they was twelve hundred. <laughs> they was twelve hundred, but what happens is you do the tax free and you go to the airport and you get like three hundred back. Wow, you still in the hundred, you still in $900. But I hear you though, Mom. You it know, wasn't my money. Yeah, right, right. You run them. Yeah, it's the rich and famous. I'm on now. Use other money to make more money, right? No, I'm just kidding. It was my money. Yeah. I wonder where's Where's my family? Yo, we're here with KD Albert. All right, you gotta go See, pick up the music, up Katie. Al I'm trying to pronounce it in a. In he a got an accent though. I'm gonna give him a Albert. pass. That, I mean, that was you right. Know, I'm gonna just. Albert. You know what? Check this out. You know who she is, man. I'm just KD. She's the most How popular Katie, and everybody been trying to go on that Katie tip. You see what I'm saying? This is the Katie. She's the only Katie that can put it down on the screen, put it down on the mic, and just hang out with people and just get down to the person. All right. Yeah, don't Katie believe the Albert. hype. Don't believe the rumors. If you hear anything bad about me, just punch them in their mouth because they lying. They don't even. That's right.